There is in Israel an added significance to this Yom Kippur, a special meaning to the Day of Atonement because of the very painful shock to the country's conscience over Beirut. Emotions are very high. But even those who claim Israel in no way should be held responsible for what happened will tell you privately there is a sense of shame. One visitor here, an American Jew from Minneapolis, says the mood of Israelis he's met is decidedly different because of Beirut. I kind of get the impression that a lot of people are reluctant to discuss with foreigners uh, what's going on. Uh, you listen to a news broadcast in Hebrew, and I would ask someone what was said, and they'd be very reluctant to discuss it with you. As the fast begins with sundown, the shops are shuttered. The streets all over Israel fall silent for the period of introspection that makes this the most solemn day in the Jewish calendar. It is the day on which the Jew as an individual and the Jewish nation as a whole are cleansed of their sins and granted atonement. While the concept of atonement is found in all the great religions, it is only in Judaism that a day is specifically set aside for this purpose. To the rest of the world, perhaps, Yom Kippur is best known as the day the Middle East War began in 1973. Arab neighbors seized the opportunity of all of Israel being closed down to jump on weakened defenses. As we all know, Israel soon rallied, and within days, the tide of war changed, and Israel went on to win the battle, but with a heavy cost in casualties. Now yet another reason to remember this very spiritual season, days when pride acknowledges belief in something bigger, no matter the problem. From Israel, Roger Sharp, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.